Welcome back, y'all. All right. And we're back on 2K with episode two of a college basketball coach rebuilding the Washington Wizards. So in the last episode, we mostly just looked over the team, right? We kind of got my thoughts on where we're at, um, how we want to go about building this team. We determined the only man that's safe on the team is Daniel Gafford, as he's probably the only one having a good statistical season up to this point uh, we can look at him he's getting 10 10 and 2 uh shooting 63 percent from the field so he's pretty much the only one that's safe right now and and everybody's just got horrible plus minuses we're we're not a very good basketball team that's what we learned last time we're not very good at basketball we're 4 and 17 which i believe is worst in the league our fan interest is low it's it's not good. Our, we're, we're losing money. It's it's just a horrible, horrible situation. And so knowing that, normally you'd say, okay, team's not very good. It's fine. We'll get a top draft pick or something. We have no draft picks. So right now, what I want to look to do is I want to take a look around the league, kind of see what's going on, see where can we maximize on something new, meaning somebody's probably selling uh, draft picks to try and win now and that's where we can come in uh, we're definitely rebuilding and as you can see Daniel Gafford untouchable we're not trading Gafford I refuse to see teams like this that are buying right like the Sixers they're 16 and 5 right now looking to add players I don't know what we would give to them or if that's a pick we want maybe for like a we'd probably look at like a middle of the pack team or something like like the Bucks are contending right now and Brooke Lopez is on the block not really somebody that we're after Chicago at 12 and 11 is trying to buy right now and Javon Carter is somebody they're looking to offload as a Bulls fan like adding Javon Carter seemed really redundant to me especially when they already have guys like Desumu right and what other point guards do they have yeah like honestly Carly Jones is the guy that probably should get more burn for them but guys like Caruso and Kobe White and stuff do so much of the same things that Carter does and you'd probably just rather give minutes to Desumu but whatever that's how the Bulls do the Bulls just hate having wings on their team and that's kind of what I've found but all right remembering this they're buying right Karis Levert is available rubio niang they're really good jordan walsh is available is he a power forward fair enough contending at 9 and 12 contending buying marcus smart we've seen them offer us marcus smart a couple times already marcus smart like how old is marcus smart he's 29 he'd be a culture setter that's for sure. And if they're trying to sell him on the low, like, we'll remember that. We'll remember that. Brandon Clark, kind of an undersized big. He's, he fits that run, jump, and dunk for me, but he's not as much there on defense. Nobody here. They're rebuilding, so that's not really something buying. Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson's an opportunity, right? Because the Heat don't want to pay him anymore obviously he played pretty well for them in the end of last season um so his overall is a little bit up this year but they're a team that might be willing to dump a pick or something along with robinson to maybe get something of a little more value and maybe we can capitalize on that so we'll we'll remember that where is duncan there he is and Duncan could provide us some floor spacing. I don't know if you guys remember. We looked at when we looked at stats, we found that we are not very good at three point shooting right now. And I messed with the sliders of our guys a little bit. I shouldn't say the sliders, the tendencies a little bit. So hopefully they're not chucking as much as they were. Jordan Poole was taking like 10 threes a game, which is a little bit much. So John Collins and Colin Sexton are available. Not really guys that we're interested in. Gabe Vincent available. Again, not really somebody we're interested in. They're contending, rebuilding, buying. Tim Hardaway Jr., Seth Curry. Like, Tim Hardaway Jr. is not really a guy I'd necessarily want to bring in unless he's coming off the bench. Um, just because we can't start 
Jordan Poole, Tyus Jones, and like Tim Hardaway Jr. There's zero defense there, but they are buying. So we'll remember that anyway, just by doing that. And so I guess we could look at Tim Hardaway Jr. the same way that we're looking at um, Duncan Robinson. But since we do have a little bit of cap space to work with, uh, they're rebuilding. Oh, that's a shame. It's rebuild time. They want prospects of draft picks rather than aiding veterans. Interesting. They don't have anybody that's like untouchable. And they don't have somebody necessarily young enough that I'm that interested in bringing on to the team. Uh, they're buying. That's not a surprise at all. Looking to trade their young guys, right? If they're interested in bringing in Claxton, very interesting. Uh, rebuilding, buying, rebuilding. Big stews on the market. That makes a lot of sense. They've got way too many bigs on this team. And that's not really something we're interested in at the moment. Rebuilding. If we want Jalen McDaniels. Interesting. There he is. Jalen McDaniels. I'm just seeing what he's looking like this year in 2K. That's kind of what I figured is that he's like just kind of solid like all around. He's only making like $4 million a year. He's 25. He gives us more of a wing that we don't really have on the team, which is kind of that lengthier wing that can guard a couple different positions. You know, we're playing Kispert at the three right now, and then guys like Gallinari who don't really move as well, right? So having a guy that's maybe a little more athletic could be useful. That's something that I'll remember. Where are they at right now? They're rebuilding. Interesting. Well, I'd be curious to see how for how little they'd be willing to give us McDaniels. They want Jaden McDaniels. That's a guy I would want as well. Rebuilding, rebuilding. They're buying. Well, they, it looks like they might go after McDaniels as well. Interesting. They don't have any picks to give us, though. Rebuilding, buying. Rudy Gobert, Shake Milton, Akil Alexander Walker. They're trying to offload anything so that they can win right now. They would like to acquire LeBron as well. Expiring contracts like Jaden McDaniels. Now that's interesting to me. That's really interesting to me. Because, look, they're not very good right now. Jaden's 23, and honestly, I'd rather have him on the team, right? Like, oh, and his stats are way better. See, now we're talking about giving up picks, though, right? That we don't quite have. But... You know, if they're looking to buy, maybe we'd be willing to give them a couple players that help them a little bit more, even though really they should keep Jade McDaniels. But he's a guy I would love to have on the team, right? He gives us that rangy defense and it's um, space the floor a little bit better. It's a younger player, right? Buying. Moses Moody. Kaminsky. Interesting. Everybody wants Nick Claxton. Very interesting. Okay. So taking a look at what we have, right? There's a couple ways we can go about this. One is trying to take on one of these contracts, right? And seeing if we can't get a pick along with them. So the Heat have their pick this year. That's important to know. And then we wanted to look at Dallas. And Dallas does not have their pick right now. So I can already tell you we're probably taking Tim Hardaway Jr. off the list of somebody that we're going to go for. Um... Taking on a guy like Marcus Smart, right? Like, what are they kind of looking at for a Marcus Smart? Like, because I know that I'm, I'm big on Tyus, right? I like Tyus a lot. Um, but I don't like what he's produced up to this point. And he's on the last year of his contract. So, you know, maybe that maybe that helps us in a sense. Maybe we re-sign him on the, on the cheaper end of things. But... He hasn't produced for us well this year. And part of that's right is nobody else is playing well, right? Like we're getting, we're getting 15 points out of him, which is nice, but I wish his playmaking was a little bit better. Um, he's not shooting well at all. Like, honestly, if we take a look at his heat map here, interesting. Actually, he's shooting decently from certain parts on the court. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Back to this. 
I would love to acquire a wing on this team, right? Because right now we're playing Kispert. Denny's playing some of the minutes off the bench at the wing. And that's kind of it, right? Like we got Koulibaly. Koulibaly's going to take some time to develop. He's really young, right? And there's just, there's a while to go with him. But it gives us, getting one of these McDaniels twins would be, it's just a different player than we have, right? Some athleticism, some size, things like that. So just out of curiosity, just out of curiosity. What does it look like bringing in a Jade McDaniel? Okay, that's kind of what I thought. So let's go then to Toronto. I feel like this could be something that we could take advantage of. Just looking down, like, I wonder if a guy like Patrick Baldwin, like, like, obviously the money doesn't work there. And Wizards would acquire three. It's pretty close, though. So getting a younger wing back. And then... So they're rebuilding. They want picks. So they're not looking to take on much. Right? So if we throw in, right, like an Anthony Gill or something, right? And so oh, they have too many players on their roster. Who's the cheapest guy on their roster? A Christian Coloco. A Coloco actually has some value. Malachi Flynn. Okay. I'm going to mess around with this for a little bit and see what we come up with. We weren't able to make the McDaniels trade work. And I've been looking around the league more and more, and the Knicks is where it starts to get a little bit interesting again because they have Evan Fournier, who's not very good. They're paying him $18 million a year, and they're pretty good this year. So what I'm thinking is I can give them a better player in Shamit, a better player in Gallinari, which I really don't want to give up, but we got to make the money work somehow. You give them a couple seconds, make the value match up. We get their first-round pick this year because I'd like to have some sort of pick this year and, you know, these guys aren't here long term anyway. Shamit, we didn't want to pay. Gallo's gone after this season. We can find somebody else to mentor, like Koulibaly or whoever. Or no, I think he's mentoring Avdia or whatever. So I want to see what happens with this. Asking me to give away an asset like that. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd say that. Little did you know, we have all the second round picks in the world that we can throw in this deal. Ask me to give away a valuable asset. None of these assets seem to be valuable. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. No, that's not happening. What else do we have of value to you? Is this where a Johnny Davis becomes? Johnny Davis has a lot of value. Okay. Hear me out then. Let's just see. Let's just see what people are willing to give away for Johnny Davis. Top 10 protected pick. Let's find that interesting. Very interesting. I wonder if we changed something like that to a Fournier, Shamit type deal. I could keep Gallo and get their pick. I want, I want your pick. I will take on for you, Evan Fournier. This doesn't make us better. Remember that, New York. This doesn't make us better. You get back Shamit. You get back Johnny Davis. And now what are we talking about? Right? What are we talking about? You're not interested in this trade. That's not true. That's not true. There you go. There you go. Alrighty. So, not only... So we have a draft pick now, which is good. And the Knicks are solid this year. Maybe they'll fall off now. Maybe maybe Fournier was the was the key to it all, right? Maybe, just maybe, we can get something going now. But taking a look at the roster now, right? We gave up two guys that weren't playing for a guy that's not going to play, right? And that's okay. And that gives us an open roster spot, right? One, two, three. No, wait. Let's go take a look here. Where does this leave us? I feel bad giving up on Johnny Davis so early, but at the same time, it's kind of like, 
whatever, right? Like, the odds of him developing that much more wasn't high. New York has such a great reputation of developing their young guys, right? So I'm sure he's going to be just fine out there. Yeah, we actually have space to bring somebody in if we want to. Who's even out here? John Wall's available. Created player, Jalen Noel. Interesting. Zeravenko. 7 2, 220. What? 2K is just putting in like created players like this? Have we have we discovered a gem? 26 years old. 7 2 220, huh? I mean how much do you want? Can I can I give you three years at like two million dollars? Welcome to the team, sir. Welcome to the team, sir. Oh yeah, he's getting minutes right away. You're getting minutes right away. Alright, we settled on a rotation. Uh Kispert still here in the starting lineup, right? Uh, that didn't change much at all. We want to make sure Avdi is still getting his minutes, but we want to give our man, uh, we're going to call him Big D. Big D getting his minutes here now, so we'll see what happens there. Koulibaly still getting his minutes. Moose is getting moved to the bench. What does Moose's contract look like? Because honestly, like, wasn't Moose one of the few guys, like, not playing that bad? Eh, he's not playing that great either. Or, well, that's per 36, I was going to say. Four points. Yeah, he's not... He's not shooting great or anything like that. Doing anything that important contract wise is yeah, he's most probably gone at the end of the year. So that's fine. But now we're a little bit younger, right? We've got a draft pick, right? So we've got some guys to watch and develop. There's there's a lot of Caucasian on this team. It's just something I'm it's not important, but I'm just noticing it. Um, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and start simming now um looking ahead at our schedule right who's a team brooklyn's been struggling maybe that's a team that we can beat that we wouldn't necessarily beat in 2k we could see ben simmons on the court cam thomas they got lonnie walker they have so many wings on this team like let's let's play that game and we'll simulate we'll simulate through the end of december then and then next episode we can talk about the trade deadline and things like that but let's simulate through here and see how it's a loss all right that's a win all right wow a little bit of buyer's remorse there eh? or seller's remorse i should say no <laughs> another win why is our profit dropping so much i don't understand a loss another loss more more that now that's some buyer's remorse right there people want jordan pool now all right we don't care about this just scout them like i said hopefully i haven't checked to see if people have put out um any new draft classes yet or anything but hopefully people do by the time we get to that point win loss since adding duramenko how are we how are we looking we got another win we're moving in the right direction now. Let's let's just take a look at like these last four games, right? Uh, Jordan Poole, he took a lot less threes in that game. That's that's great. Uh, Avdi is still putting up like solid numbers for us. I don't know what his percentages are looking like now. Like, see, this is that's a phenomenal Tyus Jones game right there. That's more so what I want to see. Kuzma played well. Kispert, Duramenko, Big D, right there. Koulibaly. Koulibaly took a lot of shots. That's a that's an off Daniel Gafford game. Looking here, Clay Thompson after they tried to trade him. Jordan Poole. Efficiency's going up now for Poole. Maybe that's why people are trying to uh, move him. But Durham, big D. Oh my goodness. See, this is what I love to see right here. Gafford. Four points. One for two. Made both his free throws. 14 rebounds. I love it. I absolutely love it. Look in here. How did Tyus do? 6-3. 1 for... 
I was big on Tyus. I was big on Tyus. We'll see where Tyus lands by the end of the season. Another solid game for Poole. You'd like to see those numbers be a little higher, but at least the attempts look a lot better now. So the adjustments working there. Darmenko looking good. Daniel Gafford. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> I love it. And he's in like foul trouble too throughout this game, which is crazy. And coming off another win, Kispert with a big game. Tyus with a very nice game there. The shooting splits are a little bit off. Pool fell off a little bit here again, but alrighty. Some things, some things to be excited about here. Some things to be excited about here. So we are going to hop into this game and we will see you guys there. Alrighty. Here for the game now. Something I was just thinking about and hopefully I don't jinx myself, but we haven't had any injuries yet. And I, I went and looked around the league quick and injuries are definitely on injuries are happening but nothing nothing for us just yet Ooh, gafford great defense gafford all righty pool's running the court right now we want to try and have a better game of pool baselines open but to no avail okay i still this is still only my second time actually playing this game so bear with me as I try to figure out how to actually play this well. So the team's getting better as I'm getting better. As I say that. No. Nope. Not looking good. Not looking good. But we're on a two-game win streak right now. So you know what that means. Oh, my God. The pressure is on with that. But great slip. See, that right there is realizing we got pushed out way too far. Slipping that screen. Dropping down. Gaffer's my favorite player on this team. He just is. He does everything I need him to. Ron, I see Bridges trying to come up on that. We're trying to get... He's trying to bully Dinwiddie. Claxton out there is just fine. We are just fine with Claxton out there. Cam Johnson rolling off. We're fine with Dinwiddie taking that. Alright, we're off now. Good outlet. Finding Kuzma! We're winning this game. We're winning this one. We're absolutely winning this one. Kispert, get back. I don't understand. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Cross. Out. Snatch. Having McCall on him is just tough. Great action. There we go. See, now we got Poole a little bit more involved in it there. Right? Forcing him to chase. Uh, but maybe not. Maybe not. I was staying out on him, and they gave us a taste of our own medicine, but we don't get punished. Snatch. Go back. Lord. <laughs> Completely erased that. Oh no. Around this, work around this. Denny, get to the hole. Denny! There we go. I love having Denny off the bench. He's another guy that can put the ball on the floor a little bit, make something happen. It feels bad that Jordan Poole gets subbed out so early, though. Legal screen. On, oh, on Denny. All right. Fair play. We're looking, we're looking. We're here, we're here. Clacks, we're spacing. Yeah, they got DFS on the team and they're trying to play him. Ben Simmons gives us a bucket. Uh, I hope Ben Simmons has a little resurgence this year. I don't know. I feel, I don't know, I've never seen a player get like bullied into like not being able to play basketball anymore and it just kind of bums me out all right gotta get something easy going let's go basic pick and roll coming off coming off easy bucket there we go sometimes simple pick and roll is all you need to initiate offense right you got enough spacers on the floor like we do right now that's all you need jordan pool back in the game oh and big d this is big d's first moments Big D, making plays. 
He's the difference. He's the difference. That's the key. Oh my gosh. Never would have thought. Big D, man. So, obviously, he's just like a created player that 2K threw in the game. But I'm just very curious to see what we can accomplish with him. He's not like that young. He's 26 or something, if I remember correctly. Big D, you got a sink. Who's that? Trenton Wofford. I didn't know Trenton Wofford to be a shooter. And I'm not sure I believe it completely. Fair enough. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's two attempts a game. Get quality, quality time from Mr. Wofford there. All right. Get and pull the ball. Right. Let's get started on something here. We got Big D running off floppy screens. Get out of here. I had to take that. That's a bad, bad look. But we, you don't, at the end of the day, you just don't want seven footers running. Okay, Denny. I don't think I need to tell you guys that we don't need our seven footers running off of uh, floppy action. I just don't think that it's needed. But, all right. Let's get a little pick and pop action with Denny. That's exactly what we want. Can't make shots. Why can't I make shots? That ball should be in. McCall Bridges is a guy that I thought would have given a little bit more in terms of value in the World Cup. Like, not, I don't want to say he didn't have value, right? Because that's not true. Honestly, he was one of the more valuable guys on the team but also I was I was thinking he'd be like the second leading scorer like consistently and that's just not something that we saw very often and Big D it's his first bucket in a very big way certain himself out there hanging off Big Ben go 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 Go. Nobody's running. Nobody's running. Give it to pool. Big D. This might be our offense now. This might he might be the best player we have. Oh yeah. Looking back at him. He might be our best player. We're really aggressively trying to get the ball. And I don't know. I just think McCall could have brought a lot more to the team there. Alright, now that we got that cleared out here move here come on come on come on come on there we go look out taking advantage we're taking advantage oh yeah spin back around on the other shoulder yeah big d keeping us alive keeping us alive look at him playing with the with the regular five as well From g league the hero we're the next miami heat we're developing guys in lower leagues and bringing them out here Okay, coaching adjustments. What can we do? We don't have better players to put in the game, and that's always a tough way to start it off when you're thinking about it. Pocket pass. And we can't make layups, so that that hurts things. Maybe we got to try and get an outside shot since we can't seem to score inside. That's not really something that I've heard much from in terms of the coaching world, where I need to start getting more outside shots because we can't make layups, but when all else fails, we floppy. We floppy. Okay. Personal foul on them. We were going to get an open look, so that's fine. Let's get Abia coming around all at once. Daniel, where are you going? Alright. Abdia. Time for you to play like it's Israel again. There we go. Finally got a pick and roll to work out. Getting Obvia back in the role that he played overseas, very beneficial. He did a lot of ball handling before he got to the league. So, going to keep harping him on it. Want to get that developed in him. Here we go. Here we go. We're running. We're running. We're running. We're running. We're running. That's a lay. All right. 
making a little making some strides here before the half which is good are we going to pull this one out and get a three game win streak i don't know but we've seen some promising things so far in this half one of them being big d right big d's where we find a lot of value and we locked him up for like three years on the minimum so oh, i love the jordan pool substitution here put our best score in right before the half doesn't have to use much just go get a quick bucket what do we got what do we got what do we got we got to be out on that's an interesting switch 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 size mismatch there's no way what is that flip shot from outside the paint like that all right not someone we can necessarily iso so i'm gonna bring pick here put it on the other side we go now we go now we go now there we go we can't make anything okay that's fine that's fine it's fine we can't sim even all right let's what is he doing Whoa. oh my whoa wow that's something in itself he's the most talented guy in our whole franchise all right we're going to simcast let's um let's see where this goes we're actually winning this game all right we've got us a game we're down three couple minutes left it coos we can't make any shots though why can't i make shots i want to make shots i want to make shots and honestly what i want to know is who's playing well for us kuzma jordan pool is not d hasn't gotten anything going okay it's fine accents spacing like crazy right now for some reason why would i not double you keep going pool keep going pool we'll score in transition then we'll score in transition all righty one point game one point game three game win streak is staying alive three game win streak is staying alive the dream is still here we're dropping on dinwiddie we're dropping on dinwiddie they want to keep going at this matchup i can't get a three second call great defense Oh, no, 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 no. Get out there, get out there, get out there. Okay. Why am I on Royce O'Neal? Gafford! Gafford! Oh, my goodness. And that's why he's untouchable. Because he does he does all the things I need him to do. Why am... No, I'm guarding Nick Claxton. Playing the drop here. We're up in his face. Box out. Great, great. Get it in the hands of our point guard. Get it in the hands of our point guard. He's running. That's a foul. He's running the floor. He's running the floor. Claxton didn't hustle back. He's supposed to get under the rim before anybody else. Can we make free throws? It's okay. I need one of these, Gafford. I need one of these that don't waste our possession. That's a, that's a violation on Dinwiddie. Just is. All right. Tie game. Tie game. We're here. We drop, we drop, we go under. We're here. They keep going back to this. And Jordan Poole is a revolving door. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right. Um, can I get a three-point shot out of this? Nope, but I can blow right by Royce O'Neal. I don't know why they're not playing Dorian Finney-Smith out there. Like... No hate on Royce O'Neal whatsoever. It's just, I don't know. I think that's a better player just all around. Like, I think DFS just isn't upgraded Royce O'Neal. But whatever. We're here. High game. And we get a blessing from God. A blessing from God. Okay, 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 okay. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Why, 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 why? Why are we switching there? 
Somebody stay. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Okay. We're settled. We're settled. Who's guarding McCall? They keep trying to go to McCall in the post. Tyus is on him. Honestly, I'd rather that. We're dropping. We're dropping again. Dropping again. And we're there to help. We're there to help. Three seconds. For the win! Overtime. Overtime it is. And honestly, let's let's just sim cast this as well. Um, we're gonna walk away with it. We're gonna walk away with it. I had faith the whole time. I had faith the whole time. Kuzma with a nice game. Tyus, couple couple too many turnovers that I'd like. Um, looks like Pool got going a little bit there at the end. Nice game from Kispert. Big D. Big D was uh, when we were playing, that's where it was at. But we keep the win streak going. We love to see that. And we have one more game here. How good is Atlanta? Atlanta's pretty solid. Get us another win, please? No, that's okay. Alrighty, that's going to do it for this one, y'all. Um, next episode coming soon. Um, first, first attempt at YouTube again. Uh, please feel free to leave comments. Let me know things you like that you don't like. Uh, even though I'm a coach, I can take criticism. So thanks so much. Make sure you subscribe down below. Hit the bell. Tune into Twitch, YouTube streams, all things like that. Links in the description. And we'll see you guys next time.